Hello there, I'm Joseph and today we are here at the foot of the Gardunia mountain in a beautiful village called Povoa Dathalaya. It's a very, very beautiful place. It's got lots of amenities. It's got bakeries, restaurants, uh, construction yards, everything like that, cafes and whatnot. It's a lovely, lovely place. We're here today because we are going to be showing you this gorgeous little homestead for sale. It's 5,900 square meters. I think you're gonna like it. It's got a lot of things on this land. And uh, before I do show you it, however, I would like to ask if you can click that subscribe button. Of course, that's really gonna help us out here at this channel. And it's also going to mean that you get to see all of the uh, farms that we advertise every week. So yeah, let's take a look around. This is the uh, the entrance to the farm. So you've got this uh, lovely, tiny little uh, country rural tarmac track. And uh, just to my left there as well, you can see there's all uh, beautiful orchards. These are, uh, these are all cherry trees here. And the orchards behind, they're all peach orchards lined with a wall of cherry trees. So that's really nice. You can see it is actually cherry season now in Fundau. Fundau is famous for cherries. And you can see on the trees there, they're all nice and red and ripening up, lovely. Here is the entrance just here. And you can actually see just across the fields to the left, you can actually see the village. There it is. So it's only a couple of kilometers from the village. Lovely place. The land here is bordered with uh, many vines. Uh, if you keep going up this way, uh, up this road here, it takes you to the village of Orca. And yeah, lots of, uh, lots of grape vines on this land. 5,900 square meters, like I said, and the price here is 35,000 euros. Uh, all of the uh, the farm is terraced, uh, not, not, not tall terraces though, they're nice gentle sloping terraces. That's the far boundary over there where you can see this field ends. It's uh, a long rectangular shape. I'm going to put a drone shot on the screen here so you can uh, get an idea of what the land looks like from above. And it's, um, yeah, a nice, nice rectangle shape. It's not very convoluted or anything like that. Very nice. It's got a lovely house up there. Uh, needs some work, of course, but it's got a, a brand new roof and all the walls are fantastic. So that's a really nice addition. There's quite a few things on this land. I think you're going to like it. There's uh, an awful lot of fruit. This, uh, this field here is empty. So this would be the, uh, the vegetable growing field. And that's what it was used for for many, many years, decades. Lots of um, olive trees as well. And here on the olive trees, you can see all the little olive flowers are, uh, are starting. So hopefully we'll uh, have a nice, nice year for olives. These olive trees are, are quite old as well. They're going to be, uh, I don't want to hazard a guess at the age, but maybe, maybe 50 years old or more, 60, 70 years old. They're nice trees. The grapevines as well, it's, uh, it's the beginning of the season now. Where am I looking? Where am I looking? I did see some a second ago. There you go. <laughs> you could just see now all of the little grapes are starting to form. Beautiful. So yeah, the beginning of the season now means that, um, means that of course all the fruit is starting. And it looks like we're going to have a nice hot year this year. Today is rather windy, so I do apologise about the audio quality. But um, it's already, it's early in the morning right now. And it's got to be maybe 20, 25 degrees today. So very nice. So this field here, yeah, this would make a, a lovely lovely place to grow your veggies, your potatoes and whatnot. And there is a well over there as well. Let me take a, uh, a little stroll over to the well and show you that. Gosh, it is windy today. This would be a, um, a lovely little homestead for someone. Nice sized house, I'll show you that in a second. And yeah, lovely big fig tree. And as we uh, come up here now, you can start to see all of the, um, all of the fruit trees. And look at that. Gorgeous, Diospiru, persimmon, or Sharon fruit. Lovely big fig there. Can we see any figs on there? Yeah, look at that. All the figs forming as well. Gorgeous, lovely. <laughs> and it's full of figs. I can see them all at the top, all up at the top there. Beautiful. So this is the first well on the land. And you can see it's, um, it's got a lot of water. The, um, the water level there is not, it's not too low down. So the ground level is, is where the, uh, where the granite stops. And then of course they've built the, uh, the bricks on the top there, the blocks to, um, to make it safer. So no children can fall in or anything, anything like that, any dogs or anything. And yeah, that's got to be, um, one and a half meters down from the ground level to the water. So nice, very nice indeed. All of the neighbors around here are uh, pretty much just fruit orchards. There's a couple of houses dotted here and there. So you're nice and close to your neighbours, but also not too close. You can play your music loud and all that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, this is the persimmon tree. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Yep, there's a few fruits in there. Beautiful, very nice. Bon dia, Andre. <laughs> this? 
Ah, Andre's looking at the uh, looking at the grapes. I was just doing that over there. <laughs> Again, some more olive trees. It's going to be a good good wine, yeah. Good. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Look at that! Wow. Would these be um, red grapes? Yes. Yeah. 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 Nice. Most of the uh, most of the homesteads here in Portugal have uh, red grapes. Of course, you get um, you get white as well. Uh, I have some friends actually who make a, a fantastic white wine. Um, they gave me a bottle last night, in actual fact. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. But um, yeah, most of the farms they uh, predominantly grow uh, red grapes here, and normally always, of course, wine grapes. Here's the owner on the. Uh, <laughs> What's that tree over there, Andre? That tree there? Pear? Uh, apple. Apple. An apple, apple tree. tree. Nice, nice. There really is a, a big... No, 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 no. Big variety of fruit on this one. Gosh, I'm being blown away here. Uh, plum. Plum. Nice, nice plum tree. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see some of the plums on there. Fantastic. Renia Claudia. Green gauge, nice. There's the, uh, the Gardunia mountain in the background there. What a lovely backdrop to the farm. This side of the farm is all fenced, which is handy, right up to the top. The other three sides are not fenced, but that could of course be done. This, uh, this terrace here, lots of, lots of lovely olive trees all in, all in line there, fantastic. All of the ground here has been tilled because the owners don't live here, so they till it, it's easier. And now we come up to the house. Let's take a look around. So this is the driveway here. It comes all the way up. Beautiful views of the Gardunia, like I said. And then the uh, the house starts here. It's a Casa Apoyo Agricola. And um, yeah, very nice. So it's got rooms here for storage. So you can store tools and whatnot in here. New roof with uh, the Vegas, with the, uh, the block. Um, beams, the rafters and everything. Very nice. Here we have the um, the, uh, the awning at the front. Uh, that would have been used uh, for growing grapes up, as you can see from these grape vines here. And of course they can be trained along, trained along. And also two lovely large tanks here at the front of the house. So an awful lot of water. There's also a large pond on this land behind the house. I'll show you that in a moment. I'm going to put the uh, square metres of the building on the screen here. And then as we come in, it's nice and tall. I don't think you can uh, pick up the height on the uh, on the camera here, but that is uh, that is roughly one, two, three, four, four, four and a half meters tall. So yeah, nice and tall. The uh, the same owner has a has a, uh, a house in the village, just over there. We're going to go film that afterwards. Um, that's also a lovely place. So uh, of course you could, if you wanted to, buy the two. Another another storage here for logs and whatnot. Rotary tiller, something like that, park that in there. And yeah, so what you could do is you could buy the two. You could buy this property here, as well as the uh, the other house, and then you would have um, a house in the middle of the village with the land here. At the back here, we have more olive trees. There's an awful lot of olives on this land. Quite a few uh, young olive trees here as well, all pruned professionally, really, really nice. And vineyard. So this, uh, this vineyard here will produce uh, around 400 liters of wine, uh, red wine, so that's nice. And then I can hear the uh, the cacophony of uh, of frogs. <laughs> they are they are out in force today, singing in the choir. Try not to scare them. <laughs> I can actually see there as well, just down here. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. Just here, there's a a lizard perched on that rock. Actually, he's just darted off. I think he saw me. He's not there anymore. <laughs> A, uh, a pear tree, a lovely, beautiful pear tree. You can see all of the all of the pears growing. I do like the uh, the beginning of summer it means that all the fruit starts growing. And this is a really, really nice sized pond. I'm going to put the um, the square meters of the pond on the screen here as well, and really deep as well. It uh, it goes straight down. It's got a bit of a, um, a bit of a ledge here, so you could plant or something on here. And you could see from all this uh, duckweed on the top that um, it's a nice, healthy pond. There's no fish in here, but um, you could of course stock it. Um, Bass fishing season has just started in Portugal, just started last week. It really is windy. <laughs> Another little pear tree. And yeah, what you could do is um, stock it with your own fish. If you put some carp in there, carp are vegetarian, um, predominantly vegetarian, so um, they would eat all of the, uh, the duckweed and everything off the top. 
really nice. Lovely sized pond to have there. Beautiful. And if you had carp and um, uh, different like ball rushes and things to filter the uh, filter the water around the edges, then it would be absolutely crystal clear. Um, the water actually is crystal clear, but because of the duckweed, you can't see. It's just a tiny little floating plant that stays on the top. But yeah, then that would make a uh, a nice little swimming swimming pool as well. Um, that's the nearest neighbour just there. You can see. Um, so yeah, you're not very uh, not overlooked or anything here, which is quite nice. This is the far boundary of the land here. So yeah, beautiful. And you can see now, now that we're come up on the top of the land, you can see all of the um, all of the orchards that surround this place, predominantly peach, but a lot of uh, cherry and uh, and also quince. So yeah, really, really nice. Let's have a look at the uh, size of the vineyard here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven runs of grapes. So really, really lovely. Right, I think we've uh, pretty much seen everything on this farm. Now we're gonna go have some lunch and then um, show you the other house. If you are interested in this property uh, or any of the other properties that we advertise, please do email us, farmerfun at outlook.com and uh, check our website to see all of the, uh, the properties that we're adding on there, www.farmerforfun.com. Right. Let's go have lunch. We've just arrived here in Orca and uh, we've picked up Gida. Hola Gida. Hola. <laughs> uh, which is Andre's wife. And uh, yeah, we're just about to uh, go and have some lunch. We're in the uh, in the restaurant Roma D. They have the um, the uh, mini market next door as well. And they also have a um, uh, tourism business here. Yeah, let's eat. just arrived up in the village you can see there at the bottom of the road that's all of the orchards where we just were so it's literally just um, less than a kilometer I would say it's uh, it's very close indeed this uh, this house here uh, this is the house of my gosh that wind is strong <laughs> it's nearly blowing me over this uh, was the house of uh, a, po a famous Portuguese poet Eugenio de Andrade yeah, there's actually a plaque on the wall there to him but yeah interesting very interesting this is a nice village. It's got um, it's got an awful lot, a lot of things here, uh, restaurants and bakeries and cafes and everything like that. It's really really nice. And then just here, this is the uh, the house that's for sale from the same owner as the uh, the farm that we saw earlier. As we come into the gateway here, of course the uh, the house needs complete uh, modernisation, but it's um, it's a nice house. It's got uh, quite a lot of um, square meters. I'm going to put that on the screen now, and you can see it's uh, it's nice. This little little. Uh, um, patio at the front here and then as we come in this is the underneath of the house so this is just a storeroom there's Andre hiding in the corner <laughs> this is um this is just the uh, the storeroom underneath the house but yeah good place to have your tools or, or whatever and of course you could in, uh, incorporate this into the house um, with a staircase coming down or something okay the house is in stone all in stone yes. and granite I think as well yeah, yeah? Granite. granite nice yeah. nice very nice and then just to the uh, the left of us here this is the old, the old chicken shed, which was sited underneath the house. There's a door there that um, that you can access that from the outside where the patio is. And now we're going to go and have a look at the um, at the main part of the house. And as we come up here, we 
there is. A little outside bathroom here, of course, extremely old and everything, but that can be um, can be either turned into a um, a storage storage area or something like that. And then we come into the main part of the house. The price here is at forty thousand euros. As we come in here, oh, typ typically in uh, in Portuguese houses, you normally tend to have the um, the the kitchen in the entrance there. And as you come through here, this is the old the old fireplace. And in here, as you look up to the ceiling, you can see the uh, the roof itself is actually new. They're all new roof tiles, and uh, all in uh, cement beams as well. The Vegas, so um, so that's quite nice. And then through here, we have um, yeah a lounge or something. These walls can all these can all come out. They're not 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 structural. And then a little bedroom through there. And again, another little bedroom through there. So yeah, you could um, you could rejig this house around, make a staircase going down, and incorporate that part of the house as well. That's a nice nice village house. And yeah. I think we've uh, pretty much seen everything so if you are interested in uh, this property or the uh, the farm that we showed earlier please do email us farmerforfun at outlook.com and yeah check our website www.farmerforfun.com to uh, to see all of the properties that we're adding every week thanks very much for watching hope you all have a fantastic week and look forward to seeing you all again next week bye mm -hmm.